what up babes welcome back it's barb city where it be hello mother effing liddy let's go on ahead and get into it before we do as always remember when in doubt just pull that mother effing blunt out thank you to everybody that continues to follow us on all platforms especially right here on barb city facebook page you are very much appreciated okay our first topic is going to be about sexy red so sexy red did just win some awards and we're going to get into what those awards are and why i feel like she deserves them now i know a lot of you guys cannot resonate with her music a lot of you guys feel like she's taking the community backwards a few years and a lot of you guys dislike the message that she's sending out to the younger community and i get it i agree with a lot of things but not all of things okay <laughs> so with that being said we do have to give sexy red tens when they are due sexy red is a prime example of an independent artist at this time whether she gets signed in the future or not sexy red is doing all of what she's doing without having payola of any kind behind her not just that ever since um Nicki minaj worked with her on pound town to sexy red has not let the hype around her name die down all the way through her pregnancy all the way to the hospital bed all the way out the hospital this woman has been pushing and for that i feel like she definitely deserves the awards that she receives so with that being said sexy red wins female rapper of the year for xxl awards 2024 i know we are so used to seeing Nicki minaj win best female rapper of the year but i have to be honest it is a good feeling to see them recognizing other female rappers that obviously and genuinely deserve these awards because the payola has been taking over for quite some time if it involves anybody else besides Nicki minaj which is just so happened to be the most awarded female rapper of all time okay now also sexy red wins best new artist of the year for xxl awards 2024 now i'm definitely here for this simply because sexy red is actually a new artist constantly year after year these people have tried to nominate people like koi lee ray and 77 cents as new artists knowing that they've been out for many years and just because their careers have not taken off does not mean that they are new artists okay so let me know what you guys feel about sexy red winning those awards and let's go on ahead and give her her mother effing flowers out just 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 give a bitch her, her roses though i mean you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses out, you know what i'm saying i did now let's get into this bonnie lachey girl if you do not know who bonnie lachey is bonnie lachey is the girl who went and got blue face's name tattooed on her butt cheek just days after Krishan moved back in with blue face and also got his name tattooed on her face okay this girl kind of came out of nowhere as one of his girlfriends but anyway she was on instagram live and she was fantasizing about being pregnant by blue face and him being a supportive baby daddy talking about him rubbing her belly taking her to and from doctor's appointments buying her food and i'm just like girl are you talking about the same blue face we're all talking about <laughs> Anyways, um, during the live, she threw some shade at Krishan, basically saying that Krishan Jr. is not Blueface's child, so she will not be allowed to bring her son to see Blueface, but also said that she is in support of Jaden Alexis bringing her son to see Blueface. So let's go on ahead and check that clip out together. 
Y'all, I know Jada wants to see him, as she should. Her, her son deserves to see his daddy. What you guys thought I was supposed to be like, rah? No, he not finna see Junior. That's not even his baby. He could see Javon, but he not finna see Junior because that's not his kid. Like, yeah, I'm the girlfriend, but I'm not a weird bitch. The fuck? I'm just like, girl, did you just call yourself a girlfriend? I'm tired now. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired of her. I cannot save this girl no more. So you're acknowledging that you're not the only one. <laughs> Anyways, no female that thinks like this will ever get any type of respect out of Barb City. <laughs> Bitch! Fuck you! Okay, that man needs to be taking care of all of his kids. And I got um, just two comments on that topic. This girl don't care about Blueface. She's using his name and making stuff up to go viral. She's actually doing a good job. She made it here. I agree. This girl's all over the blogs. And I do feel like she's doing this for attention. Another person says she's trying so hard to be another Krishan Rock. It's sad. She's straight a clout chaser. And I also agree about this because you guys, let's be clear. She's giving me the vibe that she wants to be that delusional. Um, Blueface loves me no matter what he does, no matter who he's with. I don't know. I love him so much. You know, that whole Krishan vibe. I feel like she's trying to be the second Krishan so that she can get attention. And let me tell you, the general public is not here for it. So y'all have nothing to worry about, okay? Our next topic is going to be about Chris or not Krishan, excuse me, Glorilla making a fool of herself on the internet today again. So she attended a basketball game. She took a picture with Damian Lillard. And then after that, she went home and she shot her shot. Not only did she shoot her shot, but she decided to basically in anybody that he was possibly messing with. And people was just like, girl, so... You don't even know if this man likes you. You don't know if he's in a relationship. You don't even know how, if he has kids. But here you are throwing around like, girl, what if you was about to be somebody's stepmom and you already up here threatening his baby mom? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm just throwing that out there. But she took this picture with him and she said, who's in this is because I want him. And I'm just like, girl, do y'all be knowing how to address a man these days? You stupid? Did you really just say that dumb ass shit? Did you really just say that? So she also said, whoever she is can't want me, so I really don't give a F. So she's basically saying right there, like, I'm okay with being the side B because his main B can't want me. I'm just like, it's a mess. It be just messy. I don't know, but let's go on ahead and get to the comments. Ain't no girl with a voice deeper than my uncle's about to snatch my boyfriend from me, chat. <laughs> Another person said, mean to be a woman you know nothing about over a man that didn't give you attention yet is wild and one more person saying he just got a divorce girl get him while he's vulnerable <laughs> wow i'm just like a mess how are y'all shooting shots these days because that was not it now, before we have a little bit more fun, let's go on ahead and get into this boring smother topic about Botsy B and her best friend, Star Brim. So y'all know a few months ago, Botsy B played tea to some bitches, right? Because 
her and Star Brim had these two women uh, in the club because Offset couldn't control that community D. Okay. Now, with that being said, Botsy B plugged T and she got 15 days community service. When she did that, people started calling her a snitch because when you plead, you have to admit your role in the situation, which pretty much validates what the courts are already thinking. So just recently, Star Brim also pled, as y'all can see right here, hold on. It says Brim reached a plea deal and agreed to plead to certain charges. Her sentencing is scheduled for February 24th, or 24th, February 21st, which we all know is tomorrow. So now people are feeling like she too is a, okay? And one of their members came out and also went live. The video was so long, I cannot play it here, but he too said that him and others feel like Starbrim and Box CB paid people off to cover up the allegations. As you can see, T with Tia tweeted, Star Brim and Botsy B are being a, a paying off five nine brim members to keep quiet about allegations. It is being a that uh Star Brim is a and she and Cardi B paid off code defense not to out her. So if you guys want to see that video, obviously you can find it on T with Tia. Now, not just that, you guys, um, Star Brim did respond to all of these gations in many ways, not just on her Instagram story, but she also went live and let it be known that she would rather get prison time than have people thinking that she dropped the ball. So she's basically saying, you know, I know that I asked for leniency. I know that I asked for them to give me probation instead of time. But at this point, I'd rather take the time just to prove a point. Although she has a whole child, you guys check it out. Oh, don't pay that shit no mind. Don't pay that shit no mind. Like how the fuck can I pay something like that? No mind. Like, like this is my life. This is my integrity. Like, what do you mean don't pay no mind? And it's, and it's people who's telling me not to pay no mind who is not even defending me, who's who's on my case. Like, you feel me? Like, to talk my don't pay it no mind, we all know the truth. I don't give a fuck about all that. And, and then they all some, oh, yeah, you know, just pray, pray for no time. Bro, my mind, my mind is so fucked up, bro, that I actually want time, bro. I want time just to prove a point, just to prove a point that I held it the fuck down, like, and that shit is sad because I have a whole kid out here who, and I don't have no parents. So God forbid, if I do got to go to jail, I'm not going to be seeing my kid, bro. And I'm most likely not even be getting visits. Now, before we get into just a reminder about how serious some of her charges are, she also put on her Instagram story, when you plead T, you have to take responsibility. And the last I checked, I'm the last person to cop out. My case isn't sealed. Go look it up. It's so much people on the case, even people who went to trial. Where is the paperwork? Where is the black and white? I'm waiting. Where is my 5K letter? There is no statements from me. Didn't go on the stand when it was trial. I'm just really lost when people stop believing in proof. She also said, me and six others was outside with ankle monitors. Why y'all only eating my D? I'm the only person who had a high paid lawyer at that. My friend paid 350K for my lawyer. And I think I'm going to sit, or y'all think I'm going to sit in prison with a newborn baby. And I just lost my parents. Yeah, think again. Now we all know who that friend was that paid for the lawyer obviously allegedly in my opinion it was boxy b because what other friend that she does she have that could spend three hundred and fifty thousand dollars on an attorney for her you know what i'm saying but just a quick reminder you guys these are some of the things that the nypd is saying took place so brim was arrested in 2022 
2020 as part of an NYPD roundup. The Five Nine Brims is a Flint crimp organization that has terrorized residents of Brooklyn and Queens by committing all acts of violence in public places, trading narcotics on the streets, and deep cutting victims through financial schemes. So those are some of the charges. Like I said, I don't know exactly which one she did plead to, but they also um, charged her with this, which you guys know are facts because Botsy B already pled to this. This is what she got the 15 days community service for, but it says prosecutors at Brim of ordering and a on two female bartenders at a club in New York. They claimed Brim targeted the women because they have been disrespectful to an associate, which we all know is Botsy B. So that was a lot, you guys. It went from Botsy B right over to Star Brim. It went from fan pages saying it to their actual members saying it so let me know what you guys feel about that and if you guys even care about people's gin and that type of stuff anyway let's go on ahead and move forward into beyonce so y'all stuff just got real beyonce continues to be exposed over and over again for like the past i would say like month or so okay well now People are coming out that not only her, but other artists are not being fair as far as publishing goes. Now, as y'all can see here, hold on, hold on. Let me pull it up. Don't be rushing me. Okay, I got to take my time. I don't want to mess up. Songwriter Tiffany Red calls out Beyonce, Seven Streeter, Tamar Braxton, and Zendaya for not properly giving publishing rights to her and others behind the scenes. Publishing is her only source of income, she said. So, you guys, this video was so long, like 30 minutes long. You guys can find it on the Neighborhood Talk, really all over the internet. You can search it anywhere. It is viral. But Tiffany basically explains that she has written so many songs and never gets her full publishing rights. And artists like Beyonce continue to take publishing rights for songs they did not write nor think of create in any way, shape, or form. Now, like I said, she did talk about Seven Streeter, Tamar Braxton, and Zendaya, but she was really heavy on Beyonce. She weighed in heavy on Beyonce. So I hope you guys all watch it. She says she feels like the reason why people don't speak out on what Beyonce has been doing is because they are all under NDA. So that definitely seems true. But let me know what you guys feel about that whole situation. Finding out that Beyonce is not writing her music, which we all knew. She's always doing stuff from other artists. Like, let's be clear, you guys. I know it's Beyonce. Been listening to her since I was a kid grew up on her but this is not the first time stuff like this has come up about Beyonce and I feel like people ignore it because it is Beyonce but here were some of the comments y'all not gonna listen because she's talking about Beyonce why are y'all mad at her for speaking out about not getting the credit she worked for do y'all clock into your jobs and expect not to be paid the f Oh, since it's Beyonce, y'all want to turn a blind eye. I'm so sick of Black people not standing up for each other. And one more person said, being a songwriter is tough, but because she made this video, it's about to get even tougher for her. So y'all know people that go up against Beyonce and Jay-Z, their careers are pretty much done. So there's only one uh, person that's been able to stand against them that I will not bring up. But like I said, I'm pretty sure that nothing good is going to come of this. But let's go on ahead and add our razzle dazzle onto this onto the end of this video, which of course 
is Nicki Minaj. And like I always say, y'all, thank you for enjoying Bar City Blooper Roll. Like, whoo, I got through the video. So first things first, you guys, if you guys are not ready for the Pink Friday 2 tour, I hope you guys get ready. It is about to start in less than two weeks. I got my ticket. I am ready. She will be in Denver on the 3rd. So let me know if you guys are ready and if you guys will be going. So let's go on ahead and read this. Nicki Minaj won the Hip Hop Artist of the Year for the People's Choice. Are we surprised, right? Are we surprised? She always wins. So congratulations to her. Definitely fan voted. And you guys know anything that is fan voted, the barbs are always going to win, child. We're going to win, okay? Um, let's go on ahead and get into another thing that Nicki Minaj had to say about and to the barb. She said, I be trying to tell y'all nobody is exempt, okay? Anybody can get it. Hashtag A-C-G-I. It don't matter who started. The barbs always finish it. I've been doing it for a long time now. And every time I ever tried to warn people that the barbs are different, they had to learn the hard way. Things I've learned about the barbs since 2009 on this app. She said, one, they never forget. Two, they don't care how long it takes to get an op back on my outside stack. We out back. Okay. Number three, they never stop. Once they start, they'll be in that A for life, moment for life voice. Number four, they everyone at their own game while laughing and supporting Onika. Number five, they make a fun sport out of giving people a taste of their own medicine. So if you do something, they will patiently wait for their turn and chow, woo we. Number six, it's never business with the barbs. Once they feel that line is crossed, it's personal. And she also said, um, read that again. It wasn't a typo. I'm not their fave. I'm their family. Know the difference. And then play at your own risk. Hashtag Pink Friday 2. Hashtag Yag City World Tour begins in 10 days. So that is on period. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.